Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey guys, my name's Amanda. Today's helper <coughs> is Constant. And we just wanted to pop in really quick and say, thank you for stopping by the channel. We are so excited about today's video. Today's video is all about unusual snowmen. And I am so excited that you are here. So if you know me, you know that I absolutely love Christmas. So I have so many ideas and so much inspiration for you. You will want to stick around. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. If you have, you know that you are absolutely amazing and we appreciate you. So please hit that bell so you're notified every single time that I upload and give me a thumbs up as that really helps me out here on YouTube. With all that being said, Let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy. So today's video is a challenge that I am hosting with my sweet friend, Crafting in Mimi's World. She will be linked below. You'll have to check her out as well as our playlist. So for DIY number one, I'm going to show you how I made this adorable little snowman kit using a glass jar from the Dollar Tree, three Dollar Tree snowballs, Two are medium size, one is a small size. They come in three sizes from the Dollar Tree. I then placed in two sticks from my yard and some Dollar Tree fake snow. Now I have a little nose and some eyes from a snowman that I was not using. But you could use felt cut to shape. Then I put a little piece of ribbon or um, fabric in there for the scarf. I then used the same fabric around the top of my jar. I didn't have quite enough to go around, but I didn't worry about that because I knew that that empty space would be covered. So now I go around the lip of the jar again with some Dollar Tree twine and glue that down. Once that is done, I'm going to make a little double bow out of my Dollar Tree twine and I'm going to place that on the front. Now, I did not show this, but I do go ahead and glue a little tiny Dollar Tree wooden snowflake to the front of this craft on one of the tails there. I then use some berries and some greenery to embellish around my bow and I did accidentally get some glue on the top of that lid so I used some Dollar Tree ribbon and just cut it down and glued it on to cover that. So there is another option for you. I then took this wooden snowman that comes eight to a pack I believe and I wrote snowman kit 25 cents. I used some Dollar Tree twine to go around um, through that little hole and tie that around the top there as you can see so it's a little tag hanging off the side. I think super cute and I hope you like it. So for this craft you will need a Dollar Tree glass jar, a mop or um, duster pad from the Dollar Tree. You will need a Dollar Tree plastic plate which comes eight to a pack I believe and I have a Dollar Tree glass candle holder. So I go ahead and flip my candle holder upside down and glue it with hot glue onto that plastic plate. I then take my Waverly Ink chalk paint and give the whole thing a good coat. I take the Dollar Tree fake snow and sprinkle it on while that chalk paint is still damp so that it will stick. Then I go back to my little round fishbowl glass here and I take that um, pad, that mop pad, the duster wipe, and I shove it inside and that's how easy that was. I then draw the face on with a sharpie for the eyes and I try and get them exactly how I want them. I'm not great with faces, but I think I do these ones okay. And then I just use some teeny tiny dots for the mouth, five little dots. And then I take my Waverly Pumpkin chalk paint and a small brush and I go in and paint on my snowman's nose. Once that is done, I go back to the hat and using hot glue around the edge of the round glass bowl, 
I then place that hat right on top and hold it down firmly. And here's my little snowman with his hat. Now to embellish the hat, I take this adorable snowman ribbon that I had purchased at Dollar General last year. And I do one of my little bows, just creating two loops on either side in an X formation. I take another strip of coordinating ribbon and tie it tightly around the middle and cut off those little tails there. Once that is all done, I fluff my bow out and I go ahead and glue it down to the hat on an angle. I then realized that I should have went ahead and wrapped some trim around the hat. So I just went ahead and I tucked some trim right under that bow and wrapped it around and glued it down on either side. But first I put a little snow um, flake right in the middle of that bow. And these come in a pack of table scatter from Dollar Tree. So here I am with that little trim. Like I said, I'm just wrapping it around the hat because I decided it needed just that little extra bit of interest so here is what it looks like you guys just over two dollars i think it is absolutely adorable and you could put some twinkle lights in the face if you wanted to so now let's get into diy number three for this DIY, I'm going to show you how I made this absolutely adorable snowman wreath for just a couple of dollars and some unusual supplies from Dollar Tree. So I take this Dollar Tree wreath form, this Dollar Tree car cleaning cloth, I cut the car cleaning cloth into four strips and then I just begin to wrap it around the wreath form by gluing one end down, wrapping around till I come to the next end and gluing that down. Once my wreath form is completely covered, I am going to take this box lid from a gift box from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to figure out how tall I want my hat and then I'm just going to cut down that box lid to size. Then I'll just kind of measure and make sure I got it how I want it. Once that is all done, I will go ahead and take the rest of that box and I'm going to be creating two strips that are the same size so I can glue them together and make a brim for the hat the size that I like. Excuse me. So once that is done, I'll just go ahead and place that how I want it. And then I will just glue that brim down onto the hat. Now for the hat, I do leave that gift box with the edges up because I just think that's really cute. Of course, you could do it the other way if you wanted to. Once it's all glued together, I'm going to give the whole thing a generous coat of my Waverly Ink chalk paint. I'll then go back in with that little bit of trim from the Dollar General last year and I'm just going to put that along the hat brim and glue it down. Once I am done with that and apparently pulling off all the glue strings i'm going to go ahead and glue that hat to my wreath now i may not have mentioned but i did leave a space where i did not put the car cloth because i wanted to glue the hat directly to the wreath i'm sorry i didn't mention that but i did use three strips of the car cloth to wrap around the wreath form and then i used that fourth strip as you just saw me do to cover that spot in the back so it has a more finished look so I hope that that makes sense. Of course, if you ever have any questions, please just go ahead and leave them in the comments. So now I embellish my hat with some Dollar Tree greenery from a little Dollar Tree pick. I make another one of my little bows with that beautiful snowman ribbon and pop a little snowflake in the middle of that bow. So once that is all glued down, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and a brush and I'm just going to put Mod Podge everywhere that I want some glitter and shine so I'm going to put a little bit on the leaves of the greenery a little bit on the brim of my hat and a little around the top and the edges then I'm just going to take this Dollar Tree fake snow and I'm going to apply it down on top of that Mod Podge I'll then shake it off 
the excess that is and then I'm gonna make a little scarf for my snowman with just a piece of ribbon just tying it around and looping it like so and trimming off those tails so here is what my snowman wreath looks like um, I absolutely love it it was so easy and it's very customizable so I hope you like that now let's get into DIY number four so for DIY number four, I'm going to show you how I made this super cute little snowman centerpiece. So I began with this pumpkin. It was a buffalo check pumpkin, but I removed the fabric from it and set it aside because I'm going to use that fabric. I then took this Dollar Tree little hat and I took everything off of it. I then used the fabric to cover the side and the top of the hat by just measuring out the top and gluing a strip down and then measuring the sides there and gluing some more of this fabric around the side. I just wanted a buffalo check hat so this is how I decided to do it so I'm just using hot glue and just carefully getting that fabric on there once it is all glued on I can then trim off any excess or any little flyaways now I just take the excess fabric in the bottom there and I'm just going to be wrapping it under my hat. Hopefully that makes sense because I will be gluing the hat down to a brim. So it's okay to do that. And here's the brim. I'm just covering it in that fabric and I did decide to flip it over because one side had the um, buffalo check and one side had the burlap. So I just decided to flip it over and use the burlap as a little bit of contrast for the hat. So I then took some of this ribbon and I just wrapped it around my hat for a little bit of decoration and glued that down. So once that is all done, then we can go ahead and embellish. But this is just a quick and easy way to customize a little hat ornament. So I used a little Dollar Tree snowflake. I believe they come 12 to pack they're teeny tiny and then just some little embellishments that I had pulled off this ornament originally some greenery some berries and that little leaf I just glue everything down placing it how I want it and then I have my hat now that we have that all prepared we can set that aside and go ahead and begin on the face of our snowman. So I take this empty candle jar and I do the same thing I had done before by placing a little mop or duster wipe inside of him. And then I flip it upside down and glue my hat to the top. I then glue the whole thing to this Dollar Tree Buffalo check tray and I did not show you me creating the face on the snowman because y'all already saw me draw a snowman face so I did not want to bore you but I then covered the rest of the tray on either side with some pieces of the Dollar Tree Christmas tree that I had just snipped off as I didn't have the right kind of greenery on hand some berries and some pine cones. I just arranged them and glued them down. And I think that this came out absolutely adorable for a super cute centerpiece that won't block view on your table, but still looks adorable. So I hope you like this one. And now, last but not least, DIY number five. So for DIY number five, I'm going to show you how I took this wooden paddle that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. I have already used it in a previous project, so the top and the sides were stained, so I just flipped it over and painted it with my Waverly Plaster Chalk paint on this side here. And I painted about, um, well, <laughs> about eight-tenths of the way up, higher than I actually needed to, and then I just took a ruler to make a straight line where I wanted to separate my colors and I painted in the rest of the paddle with my Waverly ink chalk paint for the hat. I then traced out a cute little face with pencil and I went ahead and used my Waverly ink chalk paint to create a crazy little wiggly mouth but you can make a more serious one if you wanted i just thought this was super fun and then of course i filled in those eyes now here my eyes are a little bit skinnier they actually end up being a little wider as i made a mistake but i just fixed it 
And then, of course, the nose is my Waverly Pumpkin chalk paint. I did use a Sharpie to do some little eyelashes. And I went ahead and used a white paint pen to put some dots in the middle of those eyeballs. I then took some ribbon that I purchased at Dollar General last year and just wrapped it around where the two colors meet where I'm making the brim of this hat and glue it down. I flip it back over and I go ahead and take some Dollar Tree twine and tie that through the hole at the top of the paddle to be a hanger so this can hang on a wall or off of the shelf. I then take some more Dollar Tree twine and create a little piece that goes around the brim of this hat and I tie it off. I shift it so the knot is not quite in the center and I glue it down. Once that is done, I can further embellish by taking this Dollar Tree um, greenery that came off a Dollar Tree Christmas tree cutting it down into smaller pieces and then I just take two of those little pieces and place them back to back if that makes sense. I do trim off some of these needles to give it a more high-end look and just glue these pieces down. Then I take some more of this Dollar Tree twine and I tie a simple little twine bow and I go ahead and glue it down on top of the hat right underneath that tiny hole for the hanger i do lose my tails quite long and on my longest tail i tie one of those little wooden dollar treat snowflakes that come several to a pack and then on the other tail i make that a little bit shorter and tie another snowflake on there now i did not paint these snowflakes i thought that the natural wood color was super cute but if you wanted to paint them you could absolutely do that then I go ahead and embellish the greenery by adding some of these little berries off of a Dollar Tree pick and a little tiny snow covered pine cone. I just think that that is really, really cute. I glue that down and then I take that same ribbon that I used on the hat and I create a little scarf for my snowman by tying it down and then tying a loop kind of fluffing it out so it looks really pretty then I take my tails and I cut them at an angle so that they look nice and my adorable little snowman is complete I just love him he can stand on a shelf he can hang on a wall or a door whatever you like I just think he is super precious and you can customize him with different ribbon choices so here is everything we made today really hope that you like it and I hope that you enjoy this video and please do not forget to check out Crafting with Mimi World and our playlist. You can subscribe to my mom's channel and thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.